Here we have the temperature in the room is changing at a steady rate. If x is the number of minutes since noon, the temperature was negative 4 degrees Celsius when x was negative 3 minutes, and we also know that the temperature was 6 degrees Celsius when x was negative 5 minutes. We need to find the rate of change in the temperature in degrees per minute. So here is the keyword. We need to understand what does it mean by rate of change. Whenever the question is asking us to find the rate of change, this is nothing but just to find the slope. Okay. Once again, rate of change means that we are just going to find the slope. And now the question is, how can we find the slope? We must have two points, right? So we have to go back to our story and then pick out two points. Right here, it says the temperature was negative 4 degrees Celsius when x was negative 3 minutes. So we have our first point, negative 3. This is for the x, okay? The minute is for the x. So let me label that for you guys. x is negative 3, comma, the temperature was negative 4. This negative 4 will be for the y value, okay? So this is our first point, negative 3, comma, negative 4. And then we also have the temperature was 6 degrees Celsius when x was negative 5. So our second point is going to be x is negative 5. This is the x value. And let me go back to here. Let me put down x1, y1, and this is technically going to be x2. And the temperature was 6 degrees Celsius, so the y value is 6 right here. So this will be the y2. So these are the two points that we have, and we just need to find the slope of um, these two points. That's all. How can we find the slope then? Of course, we use the slope formula. Let me write down the m for the slope, and the formula is y2 minus y1. So let me write it down for you guys right here. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay. And now I just need to plug in all the values right here into this formula. Accordingly, we can uh, finish this up. So y2, as we can see, y2 is 6. So let me put down the 6 right here. And then minus y1. Well, y1 is what? y1 is negative 4. Okay, so let me put down minus negative 4. This minus was from the formula, but then the y1 value is a negative 4 right here. And let me put a parenthesis like this. And then let me do the fraction bar. The x2 value is negative 5. So let me put that down right here. And then we also have the minus in between. And then the x1 value is negative 3. So that goes right here. Okay, so this is the setup. And now we just have to do the computation. That would be it. On the top, we have 6 minus negative. So you see the double negative right here. It turns out to be what? It becomes to add, right? So we are just going to do 6 plus 4, which is going to be 10, over on the bottom what we have. Well, negative 5 minus negative 3. These two negative together also become plus. So here we are talking about negative 5 plus 3. And negative 5 plus 3, that will give us negative 2. So let me put that down right here for you. Okay, so now we just have to do 10 over negative 2, and that will give us negative 5. And as you can see, this right here, it's a slope. And the unit for this is degree per minute. So let me write this down. Negative 5 degree per minute. But as you can see already, the answer is choice C.